Right, okay guys, welcome to another uh, short video. This week, or not this week, this video I should say, I'm taking a look at a remake of a classic Commodore 64 game, um, and it's Wizball. Now this is running on my Windows PC, so I've never actually played it, it's completely free, so i got to say, beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful title screen. Really, really, really pretty. Wizball is absolutely one of my favourite Commodore 64 games. I mean, it's 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 like nothing you've ever seen before. It's How would you describe Wizball? Is it a platformer? Is it a scrolling shoot 'em up um, I don't know. It's kind of a bit of everything. Um, such a unique game. And probably after uh, Sensei Soccer, it's probably my second favourite sensible software game. So anyway, let's take a look at this. This is Wizball, and this is on the Windows PC. So, how do we start with a wee minute? Just click on the window, like so. I'm just going to turn the sound up a wee bit. There we go, a remake of the classic C64 game originally created by Sensible Software. Two players, options, high scores, list tips, blah 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 blah. I like that title screen. Ah, it's pretty funky. Now the the Wizball title screen by Martin Golley is one of the finest sid tunes um, ever. Absolutely, it's an extraordinary piece of uh, music. And as beautiful as this particular uh, sort of copy, you know, of it is, it's not as good as the original. I think because obviously a PC now is so much more powerful, the fact that Martin Galway was able to get the tune out of a SID chip just makes it all the more amazing. So anyway, let's uh, batter on. So one player is at one to start. never played the game before, basically I think the, uh, the idea behind the game is a nasty, oh, uh, yeah, there's a, a nasty man has basically stolen all the, the colour from the landscape and it is your job, wait a minute, why is this not letting me, uh, <laughs> Hey, there's something going on here. This does not want to let me move up for some odd reason. Right, I've got no idea what's going on here. I don't think that I should be doing that. Back in a tick. Right, okay, I had to redefine the, the keys basically. So we're back in business. Yeah, so the idea is. This nasty person has stolen all the colour from the landscape and it is up to you and your little whizball. You're not actually this character, you're actually a wizard inside the whizball. Excuse me. And by destroying these little, uh, I don't know what you would call them, they look like little uh, chemistry uh, atoms, um, you can, the more you pick up, you've got power ups along the bottom, a la. Uh, what do you call it? Nemesis. Now to restore colour, you need to collect a little uh, bits of sort of paint. But to get the paint, you need to get a cat, which is the third icon along. You'll see it along the bottom. So you need to click some icons and then pick up the cat, and then I'll show you how that works. So what I need to do here is try and get more of these little, uh, ah, little of course you do, yeah I'm forgetting that when you lose a life you go right back to the start. Oh do you, I'm trying to remember, and they call the 64 one. 
Ah, they've actually sampled the Commodore 64. That, you know a sound effect is good when they sample an 8-bit sound effect for a PC remake. Yeah, that's when you know a sound effect is good. Begin with. I'm trying to think. No, you don't. I'm sure when the, the Commodore Amiga one, the, sorry, the Commodore 64 one, when you lose a life, I'm sure you still retain your, uh, your power-ups. Do you? I'm sure you do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of these games when you first play it. I remember when I first got this game, I'm like, this game is utterly uncontrollable. And it is. But once you actually start picking up, you know, power-ups, then it, it gets easier. I've got to say, I've never ever completed the game. I've never even come close to completing the game. And unfortunately, when, like this, you're flung into the deep end with uh, no power-ups. That is very, very difficult. Come on, come on. And the problem here is I'm going to... When I try and move over here, I'm going to end up going down that wall. Right, wait a minute, let's see if I can... I can now control it. I can now... influence the left and right. And you basically, once you get a power up, if you waggle the joystick left and right, so now I can at least stop moving about randomly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the wee catalyte. There we are. Now to control the catalyte, if you hold in the fire button, you can then move him about and he basically collects all the paint. But you need to be careful because the little catalyte can die. Now you can only pick up the paint when it's been shot and you'll see the little globules falling down. So, and you, if you look to the left, the bottom left, you'll see, or the bottom right, I should say, you'll see the little, uh, the little paint pot of red paint. It's gradually filling up as I collect the, the little bubbles. Can he helps to kind of fire as well, so he's actually he's actually like any extra weapon as well as you can only use them to pick up the pain. You basically need them, you can't collect the pain without them. random as to when baddies appear. That's what I always found a bit frustrating with this game. You can spend ages looking for the pain. I think you've just got to keep walking about and hunting for it. Oops, dying out. Firepower, which is excellent. Right, now I've filled up the little red thing. Oh, I've now got a little bonus. I'm before we head to the laboratory. 
I say the graphics in this version are really really nice. Definitely. Now because I've got I finished a level I can now pick what a uh, what do you call it? I can now pick what sort of skill or power up will stay with me. So I'm gonna go for that one, which is now how four I think. Firing fire I think. Yeah, the particle effects, I don't know what the cat's... What's wrong with the cat? Is the cat dying? The cat definitely will eventually die. If it takes too many hits, so I think the cat is on its way out. Good little thing. And the cat is dead. <laughs> Now we need to do it. I'm going right in our chat. Ah, bollocks. Right, anyway, listen, I'm not going to play that game any longer. That is, it's a really, really nice remake. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, you know, if you'd never played the Commodore 64 one, chances are you might enjoy the PC one better. But I'm old school. Um, Wizball is one of my favourite Commodore 64 games. And as such, uh, I think the C64 one is still the definitive version for me, I mean it came out in the Commodore Amiga, it came out in the uh, it came out in Atari ST, but to me the C64 one will always be the best version to play. But anyway guys, as always, thank you very very much for watching.